All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel. And it's another question and answer Tuesday. And the question we're gonna answer today is how I fly my DJI Mavic Pro while I'm driving my pickup. All right, so this is a question that I get asked just about every time I have some sort of drone footage of me driving my pickup. Now, like I said, I have the DJI Mavic Pro. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, but this is a nice foldable uh, drone from DJI. And like all DJI, uh, DJI drones, it has intelligent flight features. Now, the two flight features that I use the most on this one for driving footage are active track and tap fly. So active track, for those that aren't familiar, allows me to basically set the drone out there at a distance, uh, select, look on my screen, select my pickup, and then tell the drone to basically maintain its position where it's at as I drive. And that one works great for a, a lot of different cases. I can get it, you know, like when I'm driving and you see the drone flying alongside the pickup, uh, a profile shot of it, that's uh, when I'm using active track a lot of times or sometimes it, when the drone's just falling directly behind the pickup, I'm using active track a lot of times. Now tap fly uh, works a little differently. Tap fly basically, you just tell the drone to fly straight uh, at a, for as long as it will go until it gets to its distance limit. And so what I'll do is I'll just stick the drone way behind me and uh, point the camera kind of somewhat down and then tell it to fly straight. And then I can get those nice cool shots where the, the drone kind of comes up behind me and flies past me, kind of revealing the terrain that I'm in. So that's, that's another intelligent flight feature. And again, these intelligent flight features make it to where basically the drone does all the work and I can completely maintain and drive my vehicle just like normal. But there are times when I want certain shots, like the shots where the drone's out in front of the pickup uh, and looking back at it. Now I can use ActiveTrack for that, but I've had some struggles using ActiveTrack in that situation, so I prefer to actually manually fly the drone in that situation. Also, there's times like when I've got the drone just straight up in the air and the camera's pointed down at the pickup, straight down at the pickup, or maybe uh, at a sharp angle. And a lot of times I do that because uh, there's a lot of really tall trees, like maybe I'm in a tall pine forest, so I want the drone up in the air, or like I said, if the drone's out in front of me and I'm flying it, uh, there could be branches or things that I really want to be able to kind of control the drone and really pay attention to what the drone's doing. So I fly the drone during those. And what I do to do that is, one, is make sure you're somewhere where uh, you're not, there's no traffic around. Like I'll do this on a dirt road where there's nobody around. But I put my truck into four wheel low so that that way I can put the, because I have a manual, so, and then I'll use either second or third gear, and basically in four wheel low, my truck will just kind of crawl along, and I don't have to give it any gas or worry about uh, controlling the speed of the truck. The truck will just crawl down the road. Now, I have to use the remote control, which, you know, obviously you have your, your joysticks here. So what I do <clears throat> is I use my knee, and I steer the truck, with my knee. I don't have to use the uh, gas pedal or anything. So this way allows me to basically crawl down the road, maintain uh, maintain myself on the road with my knee by uh, controlling the truck. So don't it, this doesn't work real well if the road's got a lot of curves. So I usually try to find a spot where the road's pretty straight, but this kind of allows me to keep the straight truck straight down the road. And then I can keep my eyes on the drone or on the screen because like I said, my if you're not familiar, my, my phone goes here, fits in these arms, and my phone goes like just like this, and the controller. So basically, uh, if, the, if I'm flying the drone out in front of me, and it's looking back, and I, and I have it pretty low to the ground, I can watch the drone, physically keep an eye on the drone, and make sure I'm keeping it out of harm's way, and fly it backwards while the truck is crawling forwards. If I've got the drone way up in the air and it's looking straight down, I can look on the just kind of keep, you know, kind of keep glancing up, making sure I'm still going straight because I'm not going very fast because I'm in four low. So I'm basically only, we're talking about speeds about 15 miles an hour. So I'm going down the road. I can kind of keep looking up, making sure this truck's going straight. But then I can also keep an eye down here on my screen and make sure that I'm 
got my my composition right uh, with the drone and the truck and the road. So and then I can fly and also make sure that I'm maintaining the correct speed with the drone to keep the truck in the you know obviously keep the truck in the composition. So those are my tricks for getting a lot of my uh, different drone shots when I'm driving. Uh, I hope for you guys. I realize that this is probably only going to be interesting to you guys that are creating YouTube videos or thinking about getting a drone for your YouTube videos. Um, but we'll start doing some question and answer ones on some camping related items as well. But I, the question and answer will kind of revolve around camera gear and camping since I, I do both. But anyhow, like I said, I hope that uh, for those that are interested, you did find that uh, somewhat helpful or interesting to learn about. Uh, if you did, please give the video a like. Uh, any, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave those down below. And I'll see you guys again outside.